it's Donna Duffy from Academic Connections Tutoring and this week we're going to be talking about organization and the areas of how you organize and how you think. So my question for you is, are you a pile person or are you a file person? Now I'm not talking about what you hope to be, I'm talking about what you really are. What is your initial go-to when you've got a stack of paper in your hand and you're going to organize it? What's the way that you tend to do that? Some people are very organized and everything goes into a file right at the beginning. Some people want all their files, file folders to be the same color. Some want to have different colors to represent different things. Some need things to be a little bit more cheerful, so they go for laminated file folders that um, have a theme or um, a different pattern. But if that's your first go-to, then you tend to be a file person. That's not me. I'm a pile person, and I have a funny feeling that I'm among a lot of friends, and this is my initial go-to. So if I have a stack of paper, I'm going to tend to organize this paper. Eventually, it'll get here, but that's not my immediate go-to. So how do we help students with this? If I'm a pile person, if my child is a pile person, we a lot of times think that's unorganized, that's disorganization. But truly, it can be as organized as long as you keep it in a system. So here are a couple of suggestions um, to help your child with that. One thing is to make tabs. So let's say that they bring home a stack of paper and you're trying to figure out for the evening what do they actually have to work on. So what I do is I take a sticky note and I flip it upside down so that it's a flag. And then I write whatever the topic is that I'm going to use for that stack of paper. In this one, it would be homework. So as I'm going through the binder or folder that my child has brought home, this is a good way for me to stack up all the things that are homework and leave them in one stack. Then maybe they have math papers. So I'm finding all the math papers and I'm stacking those up together. And pretty soon, what I end up having is a pile, but it's organized so that when I want to go to that, everything underneath of this flag goes to that topic. This is a good way um, when kids are trying to process through a stack of paper and trying to help them, especially at the end of the year when they're trying to study for things. Older kids who may have a lot of things from the semester that they're trying to work through, they might just have a lot of paper, they haven't organized it, just got too busy, and it ended up in a stack. A good way is to take, it doesn't even take more than 15 minutes, is to go through the paper, make up the little flags of all the different topics, and as you end up with something from that topic or subject, just stick the flag on the top, and then everything goes behind that. Another good thing to do if you're a pile person, especially during the school year, is to put all the papers that, are, that have come out of the binder and need to represent the first semester, you, uh, first marking period. You can stick those papers in a stack and then everything can say first marking period. Then the next lot of papers that you'd have would be on top and that would be the second marking period. You can also do that with subjects. If it's just too much for them to keep tidily in folders, all the papers that live under one stack can be math. All the papers under another one can be English. So it's a way for them to still, as a pile person, be able to keep things organized so it's not in total disarray. You know how it is as a mom, at times you open your child's backpack and you're scared about what you see in there. You can't figure out one paper from the other, you wonder how they can. And this is a really good way for them to get a hold of that paper, organize it, and then be able to go to it so that they can use it to study again, as notes that they need to refer back to, assignments that they need, maybe have a whole stack that's just things that need to be handed in the next day. Beginning of the year and end of the year are notorious times for trying to wrap things up like this. But um, figure it out in yourself even as a mom. What kind of person are you? Are you a file person? Are you a pile person? Like I said before, not what you'd hope to be, but what's your immediate go-to, and then work with that Making it okay, that's the way you organize, that's fine. Just make sure that you stay um, making a system that works for you and your, and your child. This is Donna Duffy with Academic Connections Tutoring. You can visit us at our website at acnowde.com. See you again.